Experts claim that Moses did cross the Red Sea after finding the Egyptian army underwater. And here explain the story of Moses, who he was and what he did. Before I go into this, I want to tell you that during my trials and tribulations at one point, when I opened up the Holy Bible, a passage from the Old Testament fell to me uh, when I opened up. And in brief, the passage said, why are you so afraid? Don't you understand that I'm guiding you? I took your family, I took your ancestors out of Egypt and made them a promise about you. You understand what an honor and what a, what a beautiful passage that was to me, Revelation, that my ancestors came out of Egypt, one of the tribes of Israel with Moses, of course, you know, we say, oh, I don't believe it. This is just mythology. But if we try and think back uh, who our ancestors might have been, what they went through, this is amazing. We didn't just appear here out of nowhere. We have generations and generations going thousands of years back. And I'm sure all of us have such a blessing. But let's go into this. Experts claim that Moses did cross the Red Sea after finding the Egyptian army underwater. The brief account of the life of Moses is the most important Jewish prophet. He's traditionally credited with writing the Torah. He was given the Ten Commandments and with leading the Israelites out of Egypt and across the Red Sea. In the book of Exodus, he's born during a time when the Pharaoh of Egypt had ordered every male Hebrew to be drowned. To protect Moses, his mother sends him down the Nile in a basket where he's ultimately noticed by Pharaoh's daughter. She adopts him as her own and raises him in Pharaoh's court. In fact, he was the prince of Ethiopia. He wasn't just anybody. Now, uh, but uh, also from what's written in Exodus, why did God chose, 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 Mo, chose Moses? Because at that time, he was the most humble man on earth, is the explanation. Now, even though he is free, Moses' compassion for the slaves lead him to uh, kill an overseer. He sees beating a slave, which forces Moses to run away from Egypt uh, because he was a wanted man. And while the Passover story shows Moses' compassion, it also depicts him as a reluctant to obey God's orders to save the Jews because, of course, he, he believed he wasn't capable of doing that. But a common motif of Judaism that the things one ought to do are not virtues, but mitzvah commandments and obligations. Moses is commanded to return and lead the Jews to freedom. After Moses and the Jews leave Egypt, God gives him the Ten Commandments, which become the foundation of Jewish law and Christian, of course, and thought. For this reason, Moses is often referred to as the lawgiver. Evidence of the infamous crossing. In the Gulf of Suez, Researchers unearthed the remnants of a massive Egyptian army from the 14th century BC, according to the Egyptian Ministry of Antiquities. Researchers were seeking for Stone Age and Bronze Age ships and artifacts when they came across a massive pile of human bones that had been destroyed by years of immersion. They found almost 400 skeletons, as well as hundreds of weapons and pieces of armor, as well as remnants of two carriages, while with Professor Abdel Muhammad Gadir in charge of the expedition. Given the vast number of skeletons discovered, they discovered 400, who knows how many more there were there, it's possible that they belonged to a big army. And what's more intriguing, Master Mr. Gadir, the archaeologist, says that the bodies may be connected to the legendary Exodus story. During Akhenaten's reign, the amount of dead shows that a big army was drastically annihilated by the waves of the Red Sea. And this appears to support the biblical account of the Red Sea Passage, in which the Egyptian army was wiped off as the Jewish people crossed over. What are your thoughts about this discovery? And there's a, an embedded video, if you'd like to see. This is on Collective Spark. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Please support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.